One of the most important uses you could probably have for your multimeter would be for checking your fuses in your car. Now, there's fuse boxes all over the place. I selected one that's under the hood here because it has some easily accessible fuses that I can easily film for you. I want to show you the difference between a good fuse and a bad fuse using a multimeter, checking voltage on it. So what we're going to do in order to measure voltage, we want to have our negative cable grounded from the meter, and then we're going to check the voltage in certain spots over here. And when we're checking a fuse, I want to check both sides of the fuse, and I want to determine if there's voltage there. Now, if I have voltage on one side and I don't have voltage on the other side, that's going to tell me that this fuse is blown in the middle and we've got no con continuity between both halves of the fuse. That means the fuse is no good. If I check for voltage on this side and I have the same voltage on this side, that means that fuse is good. There is some continuity within the fuse. We've got a, a, a solid connection on the inside. It's not blown. So we don't need to take every one out and look at it like this. You can clearly see this one's blown. We don't need to do that. We're just checking to make sure we have voltage on both sides. Now there might be a scenario where you don't have voltage on either side. And all that simply means is that circuit is keyed or switched somewhere through a relay, through the ignition switch, something like that. And then all it means is that that circuit doesn't even have power going to it yet. So if you have no voltage on both sides of these terminals, that circuit is not even live. It's not active. If you only have voltage on one side and nothing on the other, you've got a blown fuse.